Multi-engine helicopters are fantastic machines. With the latest airframe, avionic, and engine technology, we enjoy ever-improving levels of safety. But all aircraft have their limits. Even the best of the best are no exception. With incredible AEO and OEI performance, it's possible to become complacent and overlook performance planning. Like many helicopter pilots, I began my career flying singles and then later moved over to multi-engine helicopters. In these more sophisticated aircraft, we might be tempted to discount the possibility of an engine failure. Failures are rare and OEI performance is often outstanding, but we must remain prepared for an OEI situation. Part of this preparedness is maintaining your skills through flight training. The other part is accurate performance planning prior to flight. We must remember that flying a multi-engine helicopter does not guarantee the ability to climb or even maintain our present altitude with one engine inoperative. We must consult the helicopter's performance charts to determine what our rate of climb or rate of descent may be in a given situation. This remains true whether you are operating VFR, IFR, Part 91, or Part 135. Understanding your OEI performance is especially crucial when flying a multi-engine aircraft IFR. Part 135 requires the aircraft to be capable of climbing at at least 50 foot per minute at the IFR MEA or 5,000 feet MSL, whichever is higher. In mountainous areas, the MEAs are often well above 10,000 feet. Also, don't forget about density altitude. As the temperatures rise, your aircraft performance will diminish. While it is true that Part 91 operators are not obligated to implement these climb requirements into their planning, I highly recommend adopting them for all flights. Always stack the deck in your favor.